sexy eyes You look through me as if I wasn't right Oh no you didn't, you didn't just walk on through It's time Put them up, or I'll take you <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to day 7 of the Haunt Build Ah, uh, been a productive week seven days we've gone from a bare yard to having the tents up to having the partitions up to doing wallpaper started that last night we gonna bring you out here and this isn't the first first time though this is only the first time that you've seen this this season and I'll be giving you periodic updates and yeah, there's my truck blocking the entrance but you know we went from the tents to the walls I got out here last night and I got the scene setters up here come on sassy come on come on fluff get on in there puppy alert <laughs> but we got the entrance done and the, this sheet here must have been in my black light room last year that's uh hot glue from the webcaster gun it comes off my daughter is bringing out the tombstones and some of the stuff that goes out on the driveway she got up in the attic and i got those down today we're hoping to start those tomorrow or uh, the driveway either tomorrow or tuesday but uh before i can do that i gotta get the rest of the wallpaper up <laughs> which we'll be working on today i don't know how far i'll get there is significantly a lot less to do thanks to the photo hall having car foam board and this year the uh, cesspool room having co uh, car foam board so it'll be a lot less up uh, another reason why we have the uh, tombstones out is my wife was saying we had a second tub of the scene setter wallpaper and I wasn't going to get up in the attic so I went down bought some blue about 90 bucks or so buying wallpaper <laughs> guess what I got home I said the hell with it I kind of knew where my tubs were at I have about eight or nine tubs with Halloween stuff in them and the same tubs I store the wallpaper in and they were back in a corner right next to all the stuff that's going out on the driveway this year in other words the graveyard stuff so we got up there drug down all the graveyard stuff it needed to come down anyway and i got to think hell with it i'll go look at the tubs you know slide the tubs around where i could get to them and look into them guess what i found a second tub with wallpaper <laughs> so i got wallpaper which means the wallpaper I bought today, some of it I am still going to need to use, but there are going to be some rolls I'm not. I think I'm going to take back and get my money back on them. I kept the receipts. <laughs> so, uh, I got to sit down. I got to sort through that tub, see what I've got for wallpaper, and then I'm going to go from there. So, uh, I think, I don't know, depending on what I've got for wallpaper in there, Normally, I like to start out in the driveway and get the entrance done like I did and just work my way through the haunt putting up a wallpaper. Uh, depending on what, I, what I've got in that tub, I might hopscotch my way through. I mean, I know I've got enough wallpaper to do the gypsy display over there. I've got enough to do the spider display. I don't know what I'm going to have for the pirate display yet. Okay, and I don't know what I'm going to have for the witch's display yet. So... I figure I can at least, you know, see what I've got and kind of go from there, <laughs> I guess you could say. But anyway, I'm going to put this thing down and get to work. So, happy Sunday, folks. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you haunt me? Won't you haunt me? Let's all scream. Boo. <laughs> I know, don't sing, right? <laughs> Uh, I figure I'd give you a midday update other than my disaster area over there. <laughs> it's all the different scene setters. Uh, so far, the only new section I really got done has been this area here. Didn't take overly long. But what I, once I got done, I came back. I have, found some more of this type of print. 
and you can notice the different years I've bought it. I think this is my oldest to the next oldest to the newest. You know, same pattern and everything, just a different ink on it. Not much I can do about that, but that kind of ties in the entrance to there. I also did this one here. That was a dead space, so that's wrapped. Now there'll be a black curtain hanging here so they won't see in. And if you'll notice, I took the ghost pattern and normally I would run that pattern. You know, I'm gonna adjust that lens. There we go. Uh, I would normally run that pattern on the bottom. I didn't in here and I did this on purpose. Last year, when we uh, did our chain haul, we did do that. We had the brick pattern on the bottom with the ghost on the top. And I lined this with some uh, LED strobes, uh, black light strobes. And with those going off, the ghosts would fluoresce. It made them look like they were popping in and out of the wall. And with the chains and stuff hanging up in there, and we had some uh, fake garland weave through the chains, some cobwebs and stuff. A lot of people were getting freaked out by the ghosts. So I got to thinking, let's really freak them out this year because the chain haul isn't as long as it was last year. So I'm going to have the chains a little bit closer together. And I figured it'd be kind of neat, you know, if I loaded this thing up, you know, with my LED strobes, you know, uh, my black light strobes, you know, to have everything popping. So I went and did that, got that patched. And then this is our door, uh, going to be our door panel this year. It's the same thing as this. It's where I do my shadow box in. Normally I have one here and one over there. And we're always having trouble trying to curtain off the front porch so people don't go up on the front porch. So what we're going to be doing this year is we're going to make this into a doorway. I'm going to actually zip tie it to the wrought iron fence here. You know, and then we can open and shut it. And if you remember right, I did that yard sale last night. I picked up a bunch of disco lights. I'm going to put one of those back there with my silhouettes up on here. You know, so I'll be flashing, changing color, you know, moving things around it and stuff. Should be interesting. At least I hope. <laughs> so I got that. And once I get the whole haunt done with the wallpaper, I might come through and just put some wallpaper up there too. So you're not seeing the back of the dang stud walls. So, I don't know. I have to cross that bridge when I get to it. Now, I had my daughter uh, bring out uh, some of the stuff that we brought down from the attic. I uh, got a rule sign, our hour sign, a couple of tombstones and stuff. After I get these out, I'm going to have to go through and do touch-ups. Uh, these are those pillars I made this year. And they were sitting up in the attic. Some of them stuck together. The paint kind of wore off. So I'll have to get a paintbrush out, do some quick touch-ups on that. No big deal. So, but this is stuff for the uh, driveway. So, you know, it's we're getting there. We're getting close. Hoping for tomorrow. Though as slow as this wallpaper is going, it might be Tuesday before I get to the driveway. But uh, anyway, that's what I've gotten done so far. And here, hold on a sec. Let me get this thing moved in case the wife wants to come out. There we go. But uh, come in, curtain, into chain haul. Hit another curtain here, and they're into a garden. <laughs> this is going to be the pirate display. My next job is this room. I'm sticking true to form. I started it outside on the drive, uh, started at the entrance. I'm going to work my way through the haunt, putting wallpaper up. Now, what I'm going to end up doing, I think, is I got more of that ghost pattern there. I'm going to do the upper side in the house in it. And I'm either going to do that brick pa uh, brick pattern like it's out at the entrance. Or I've got some of that there. And I don't know if I have enough to do the whole display. I might do that, give, that, give that a try and see what happens. But we got to get the uh, pirate display done. So... We're going display by display by display. Hey, peeps. Uh, almost 6.30, 7 o'clock. Getting ready to go take a dinner break. We're standing in the gypsy display, and as you can see, nothing's been done there. But I've been working on the display right next to it. Spider display. I still got wallpaper to put there. I've got to wrap the tree yet. And I've got this wall up to about here to do 
with cobweb. Actually, I might loop it around over to this side. I don't know yet. I'll make that decision when I get to it. And we've got the pirate display done, which feeds into the chain haul. So, making some progress out here today. Uh, I'm going to be back out here after dinner. We'll get, definitely have the spider display done tonight. And I'll probably have a good start on that gypsy display. If not, have it done. Uh, that will leave this hallway the witch display and then the corn hall over on the other side of the cesspool room to do tomorrow which shouldn't be too bad i'm hoping i make it further than further than what i plan on tonight i'd love to have the witches display done tonight and just work on the corn hall tomorrow but i don't know it depends on time and how i'm feeling yeah you can see the corn hall over there nothing there and i can't leave the walls like that so anyway i'm gonna go grab my dinner i'll be back out here in a little while and We'll give you at least one more update. Hey, peeps. Going on almost 10 o'clock. It's about 9.45. Of course, you really don't give a flying <laughs> what time it is. <laughs> You're just hoping I don't sit here and ramble my head off. And I just might do it just to annoy you. <laughs> uh, clowning around. I'm tired. I'm ready to call it quits. Uh, we didn't do too bad today. Uh, we got the chain hall finished. Uh, got my patching done in the entrance hall I needed to do, which I already showed you uh, earlier. Uh, pirate display is finished. I believe I showed you the finished thing on that. With the wallpaper, that is. Uh, what you haven't seen is a spider display and the gypsy room. Both of those have their wallpaper up. Now that leaves what should have been two different areas has turned into three different areas to wallpaper. Uh, I have a hallway that runs from the gypsy room in the corner of the haunt over to the witch room which feeds into the cesspool room. Uh, got to thinking the only wallpaper I've got that really fits now the original wallpaper I used for the witch was a uh, old style, it looked like an old style uh, wallpaper that was ripped and torn and with lathing in it. Last year was our last year for that wallpaper. Uh, when I put it up, it was in chunks, I you know, and kind of ripped and I had to tape it together and everything else. Needless to say, after Halloween last year, I ended up throwing it all in the trash was hoping to find more <laughs> at one of the stores and it's a discontinued model you can buy it overseas you cannot buy it in the u.s as far as i know so we decided i picked up a couple of more rolls today when i was out and about of the uh mansion style wallpaper which is what's in the gypsy room and i've got enough of that left uh, actually I've got two full, three full brand new rolls of it just enough to do the witch's display and that hallway going from the gypsy to the witch problem we had was when I get done when I do my wallpaper well like here for example you know the entranceway has that brick on it when you get over there, and I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, it's a little dark, but over to the uh, chain hall, I switch patterns. Each area of the haunt has a different pattern. It's not one continuous run of the same wallpaper. And that hallway between the gypsy and the witch would have been one continuous run. There would have been no break between the two. It would have made it feel like all the same room and I want a break <laughs> so what we're going to do is with that hallway I'm going to put the ghost wallpaper up on top with the brick down below just to kind of divide that hallway up and then get into the witch's display I'll switch over to the wallpaper from the gypsy room into that uh, that hallway then to my way of thinking becomes a another display what the hell do we do with it uh, I don't have enough chains, nor do I wish to buy any more chains to make another chain haul, even a small one. Uh, I was thinking about maybe making it into a mini corn haul. 
uh, wife poo pooed that idea. She doesn't want two cornhole. She says one is good enough. And I kind of agree with her on that. But one year we tried a ghost themed display. And having a huge display, you know, just ghosts hanging around really wasn't all that popular. The only thing popular in that display that year was the fact we had the candy bowl in it and everyone was stopping to get candy. But other than that, they weren't overly impressed with it. But this one being a hallway, I've got several ghosts that we hang here or there. Was thinking, my wife was thinking of lining that hallway with a sort of ghost. We have some that are static and some that are motion. You know, they cackle, laugh, and vibrate. Even a flying crank ghost, a battery operated one. Or not flying crank ghost, but just a crank ghost. Uh, so we're thinking about turning that hallway into a ghost way, <laughs> I guess you could call it. And then you hit the witch and into the cesspool. But, you know, that's something we're kind of thinking about. And I'll show you more about that tomorrow. It's too dark out in the haunt to be trying to video out there. And I don't feel like dragging the light around. Uh, tomorrow's projects for tomorrow. Uh, wallpaper will be getting finished tomorrow. That's a definite. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, photo gallery. A hallway. The foam panels need to be touched up with paint. That will definitely be getting done tomorrow. Uh, the other thing that needs uh, that will I'm hoping to get into, and I'll probably won't be till tomorrow evening, and I'm not sure how far I'll get, is we're going to start getting the cemetery display set up out on the driveway. That way I can get my signage and stuff out and get it posted. Uh, probably won't get it finished tomorrow, but we'll get a good healthy start on it tomorrow. So, uh, first of the props will start going out tomorrow. Once that cemetery, once they had driveway and the big cat display are done, and then I can start getting corn stalks up in the corn hall. But uh, that's what we're, you know, shooting for tomorrow. So we've got wallpaper and some paint, lots of cleanup, we've got lots of that type of stuff all over the place in the haunt. <laughs> so, but that's kind of what we've got going on. Uh, Let's see. Oh, yes. Vlogging. Uh, not complaining this time. Not changing anything, really. Uh, you know, I went over, you know, when I got, uh, right before I started this, explaining my vlogging style on, on uh, the setups. You know, I've done two different formats. You know, one year I just set the camera up and let it run all day. You got to, uh, you know, 45 minutes to an hour's worth of fast forwarding. Last year I turned on the camera when I actually had something to show you, when I got something completed or a thought came into my mind. This year I decided I'm, I'm going to be trying to do a mix. Uh, as you've seen, you've had some vlogs that have been 50 50 with me either running my head, running my mouth, or fast forward. There have been others where it's just been fast forward. Uh, not yesterday, day before yesterday, you just had little snippets of me talking. Okay. So, I'm going to be doing little mixes like that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not sure how Hall Staff's going to like that, because some of the vlogs might end up very short, while others will end up very long. You know, I don't know how long of a lunch break he gets, so. But he uh, tells me he watches these on his lunch break, and he complains that they're too short. Then again, he'll complain if they're too long, too. So I guess I can't win for losing. <laughs> Sorry, Hall Steph. Gotta drop names here once in a while. You need a shout-out, too. And I'm dying to see your haunt put together, by the way. Uh, other than that, I'm going to call it quits. Go in and get this loaded up on the computer, get edited, and let you guys have your fun watching it. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Stay spooky out there. See ya, Manada.